Hello, I'm Pastor Kalyu Prelade from Five Ways Ministry, branch of Word of Faith. And uh, I've been talking about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, how God moved them off from where they were living in Ur of Chaldees and moved them into, through the Fertile Crescent, into the land where trade and industry was passing through. If you had flocks and herds there in Canaan and that type of area, you could make a lot of money by these foreign peoples moving off towards Egypt to do the trade and to buy. And so we find that uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, they settled uh, in uh, the, the desert area and they were drinking from the wells that they had dug. But sometimes there, even though it was an arid place, sometimes there came a famine and a drought where even that arid area produced no vegetation for the animals. And so they had to up and, uh, uh, and they moved to where the blessing was. And they moved, it happened before, and Isaac was looking to move to Egypt. And uh, they were getting ready. Everybody in that area was moving off to Egypt and Isaac was going to follow suit. But God said to him, don't go. And uh, he thought, well, if God says it, there must be something there. So he stayed where he was staying among the people that decided to stay. And uh, the Bible says, because he honored God in the time of the famine, his crops and his grazing field, his herds, everything prospered enormously. And the Bible says that he reaped during the time of famine when everybody else was, was running away to look to just get some food for the day. Isaac, he reaped a hundredfold in the time of the famine because he honored God. The famine could be for, la for want of this or that and the other. There it was a natural famine. We need to know that God wants you not to run after what the world would offer, but stay where God put you. Stay where he said, I will bless you. Keep where you are. Trust in him. Though the world go berserk around you and they're all running like, cha like chaotic, like at this time of the virus, etc., etc., stick with what God told you. And you find that as you keep your roots and your, your anchor in your life solid, God will bless your decision to rather follow him than men's suggestions and men's ideas. Keep your eyes on the Lord, trust in Him. And don't look at the circumstances and you will find the hand of God will bless you as you trust and honor Him. Keep doing that. Make it a habit of your life. Keep trusting in Him. Pray, read the word, trust in Him. You see, He will bless you immensely in whatever you need. Have a good day. Bye-bye.